Nice to nice to be with you. Nice to see you again. Okay, so I want to who is um, Pastor Sunday at Deraja? Who is Pastor Sunday at Deraja? I want to tell you what God revealed to me or what God said to me about this man, this pastor, Sunday at Deraja. He he claimed to be exceptional. He claimed that he is the only true man of God. He is the only true man of God that knows the mind of God, that God is speaking to or to him. But I, I go, I go, I you know God's spirit took me and uh, show me something, show me something about him. Go spiritual. The Bible said, test all spirit, test all spirit. I know the one that comes from, from the Lord. Test all spirit and test all spirit and know the one that comes from God. You have to test me. Some of uh, Sunday Adrajah's follower that is asking me which God, which God, which God speaks to you, which God speaks to you. I want to answer you before I go on. The God that spoke to me, the God that is speaking to me, that we keep speaking to me, is the God, the God of heaven. The holy God, the God that created the heavens and the earth, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the righteous God, the holy God. You can also go ahead to find out whether it's, whether it's him, whether it's him speaking through me, or whether it's the one that I'm serving, or the one that is using me. You can go ahead and find out. Try. Bible, Bible said it. Bible make it known to you. Say, try us, test us, per test. You can test, test me to know. Test. Holy I'm, said, I'm, I'm, I urge you, I urge you, I urge you to, to, to test, test me, test to know the spirit that is speaking through me. The same way heaven also tests Sunday at the Lajah to know the spirit that is speaking through him. It's important for you to test for some of you that ask him. I've answered you. The God that's speaking through me, the God that I'm, I'm the one that is speaking through me is the all powerful. There's no one after, there's no one like him. The righteous king, the Lord all powerful, is all speaking through me. Okay, so now I go on. I want to tell you whom Sunday Adelaja is. Pastor Sunday Adelaja, Nigerian pastor in Ukraine. Let's go. I want to show you something now. Listen, I will be the word of God. Will be, the word of God will be doing the talking. The word of God will be doing the talking. But I will also analyze. I will also analyze something so that you understand. I want to know who, whom Sunday Adelaja is. I'm reading to you. I'm reading right now the book of um, Isaiah 57 from verse two. Isaiah 57 from verse two. Just listen. Sit down and let's go. But come here, God is talking to you Sunday at Elijah. God is God say I must do this. I must do this. God is the anger of God is but God say I must do this. I must let you know this. God said in the book of Isaiah chapter 57 from verse 3. But come here, but come here, you sons of the sorcerers. You sons of the sorcerers, you offspring of the adulterer. Adulterer daughter and the harlot. God is going to. Whom do you ridicule? Whom do you ridicule? Against whom do you make a wide mouth? And stick out the, the tongue. Are you not children of transgressions? Are you not children of transgressions? Or offspring of falsehood? God is talking to you. God said that you are, you are the offspring of falsehood. Inflaming yourself with gods under every green tree. You are serving gods, not God. You are serving gods. Inflaming yourself with gods under every green tree. Slaying the children in the valley. Slaying the children. God is talking about to sacrifice the things you are doing secretly. The sacrifice you are doing. Abortion. Aborting, no. When God is talking something like this, He's talking about abortion. Inflaming yourself with gods under every green tree, slaying the children in the valleys. 
under the crest of the, of the rocks. Among the smooth stones of the stream is your portion. They, they are your lot. Even to them, you have poured a drink offering. God is talking about the things, the sacrifices, the ritual, the things you are doing secretly, calling the name of God. Even to them, you have poured a drink offering. You have offered a grain offering. Should I receive comfort in this? God is talking to you. Should I receive comfort in this? On a lofty, on a lofty and high mountain, you have set, you have set your bed. Even there, you went up. Even there, you went up to offer sacrifice, to offer sacrifice. Also, behind the doors, what you are doing secretly behind the doors, where nobody is, is what God is trying to let you know that He sees you. If you he said that you are ready to mock him, that you are mocking, mocking yourself. This is where he said in the you know, in verse 4, whom do you ready to mocking? Open my wide mouth talking. You know? you know, God is talking to you. He said here on the verse, he said also, verse 8, also behind the doors, behind the doors, close door. You know what you are doing secretly Close door. You come out. You, you you are showing that you are the angel of, of life, that you are angel of darkness. You are angel of darkness. You are serving the devil. You are not serving God. I I can tell you, God has shown you, have have naked you to me times without number. And He said, I must expose you because you fail to understand that the word of God is two edged sword. When you carry the word of God and you are cutting. You are cutting, you are cutting other people. When you point one finger to somebody, how many is facing you? As you point one, four is facing you. So as you are judging other people, as you are talking about other people, God, you know, how many is facing you? So the word of God is two S word. As you are carrying it, it must test you. It must test you. That's why I said, test all spirit and know the one that comes from God. And the Bible says the word of God is tried and tested. You know, it's a shame to do that put their trust in him. The whole people of the whole world try the word of God. They try to know whether it is true. The wise men of the world try it and say that the word of God is tried and tested. It's a shame to do that put their trust in him. So even the men of God that is that even called by God, God always check them, send the seer to go and tell even David, to go and tell them what they are doing closed door, behind the door. What they are doing to prove them that he is God. So God has opened your chapter and God says it's time for him to address you, to tell you, tell you who you are and what you are doing. If you think he's not seeing you, he's seeing you. Then also verse 8, Isaiah 57, so the life of Sunday, Adelaide, Isaiah 57 from verse 3. I'm reading verse 8 now. Also behind the doors and in their post, you have set up your remembrance. Also, behind the door, the doors and the depots, you have set up your remembrance. For you have uncovered yourself to those other than me, other than the Almighty. And have gone up and have gone up to them. You have enlarged your bed and made a covenant with them. And made a covenant with them. You have loved their bed where you saw their nudity. Your ways with women, all you are doing with different women is what God is talking about here. You call yourself the only one that God loves, that God is speaking to, that God is talking to. You are, because you exalted yourself, God is bringing you. That's a pride that goes before downfall. Pride goes before downfall. Your ways with women, how you are doing it, and all you talk about is bloodshed, sacrificing innocent children, innocent, you know, a, 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 a abortion and deceiving with different women is what God is talking about. Here, your ways, you have not repented. You, this is what you are doing. You are, your hand is soiled with blood. You are soaked with, with immorality, with evil, with abominable things. 
This is what is God is God is talking. That's why I say let the whole of God do the talking. Why are we analyzing the one I can? You have loved their beds where you saw their nudity. Seeing different nakedness of women, different nakedness of women. You went you went to the you went to the king with ointment and increase your perfumes. You you sent you sent your messengers far off. You sent your messengers far off and even descended to Shuel. Hell. You descended to Shuel. See where you are operating from. Are you, see, are, you here, are you seeing it? You sent your messengers far off and even descended to Shuel. Hell. Shuel. You are worried. Said you are worried. You are worried in the length of your ways. You are worried in the in the length of your way of your way. You you did not say there is no hope. You have found the life of your hand. You have found the life of your hand. Therefore, you were not great. And of whom have you feared? And of whom have you feared? No. 11. And of whom have you been afraid or feared that you, son that you have lied and not, and not remembered me? God said, not remember him. You know, all that you are doing, all the things you are doing secretly, you know, closed door, you know, behind, you know, you know, behind the doors, what you are doing, closed door. He said it here. You think, you think nobody's seeing you say, and also, also behind the doors and the their pool. And, and also, also behind the doors and the, their posts, God is talking about something sacred. Keep it that way. See? And of whom have you been afraid or feared that you have lied and not remembered me, nor taken it to your heart? Is it not? Is it not because I have held my peace from of old that you do not fear me? Because He doesn't fear Him. He doesn't fear Him. That you did not fear me. God said because he hold on, he hold to his, he hold, he hold his peace. He was looking at you, he was looking at you all this while, all these years. You think he doesn't see you? Think he doesn't know what you're doing? He doesn't so God said because he hold his peace for a long time, watching you. Hmm. I read again verse eleven. And of whom have you been afraid or feared that you have lied and not remembered me, nor taken it to your heart? Is it not because I have held my peace from of old that you do not fear me? I will declare your righteousness. God is talking now, talking, talking now. I will declare your righteousness and your works, for they will not profit you. I will declare your righteousness and your works, for they will not profit you. When you cry out, when you cry out, let your collection of idols deliver you. But the wind will carry them. We carry them all away. But the wind will carry, will carry them all away. A breath from the Almighty will take them. We take them. Uh, we say, but he who puts, but he who puts his trust in me shall possess the land and shall inherit my holy mountains. I have seen you so many times on that letter. God has been showing you. Bringing you to me, and God has been showing me so many things, so many secret things about you. You don't have God's spirit. What you have is a Satan, Satan spirit, demon spirit. This operating in you is what you're operating with, and this is all that I just read now. I saw you one time. You are you are going to every time you're going to bank with that uh, that lady, Mayowa, Mayowa, Mayowa. I saw you any time you finish talking about past Nigerian pastors, you laugh, you mock, you make your millions, millions from the from the from YouTube. How you are watching to go and cash money from the from the bank with that lady. I saw God has shown show, show, show this to me many times. When you are going to go and cash money, you say you will rule the world. That will be the you will be you will take over the whole world, is what you said. That you are going to be the number one pastor in the whole world. God said, I should tell you that you are you lied to yourself, that you are lying to yourself, that you are a liar. That now is his judgment, that he starts from you. Because God said, you are worse than Nigerian pastors that you are talking about. 
said because you are judging them, because you are talking about them, and that you are making money from their sermons or what they are doing, that you are making money that you are worse than them. You are making money from what you are trying to tell people that is wrong, that you are making money out of it. You are enriching yourself through that. That is why his judgment is severe now coming mightily upon you. The judgment of God coming upon you will be, will be severe, worse than, worse than the Nigerian pastors you are talking about, you are analyzing, you sit down day and night analyzing. Your own judgment will be worse. Because God said you don't have his spirit. Anybody can go spiritual to find out whom you are. And I was, I shake my head the day I saw you spiritually. I said, no, I can't believe this. I can't believe what I'm seeing. I can't believe what I'm seeing. It is dangerous when you are doing, are doing such a thing, what you are doing, and you don't have that spirit. You don't have that spirit. You are also you are waiting from the same place those pastors are waiting from. So, what God is trying to say here, to say clearly here, is that you don't know Him. Yeah, if you have been looking at looking at you, you don't know God. You don't know God. And God said, I should read something for you. I should read something for you. Let me try to you know, I, I, I just before I end the video. I want to show you something again. I want to show you something again. You have exalted yourself so much. Pride. Goes before downfall. I want to read this thing for you. If you go first Kings chapter one, I want to read. God said that I should tell you that you are Adonijah. You are Adonijah, not Sunday Adela Javits. Adonijah. I read first Kings chapter chapter one from verse one. Now King David was old, advanced in years, and they put cover on him, but he could not get to war. Therefore his servant said to him, Let a young a young woman, a virgin, be sought for our Lord the king, and let her stand before the king, and let her care for him, and let her lie in your bosom, that our lord the king may be one. So they sought for a lovely young woman throughout all the territory of Israel, and they found Abishai, the Shunammite, and brought her to the king. The young woman was very lovely, and she cared for the king, and they served, served him, but the king did not know her. Then Adonijah, the son of Hajit, exalted himself, saying, I will be king. And he prepared for himself chariots and horsemen and fifty men to run before him. And his father had not rebuked him at any time by saying, Why have you done so? He was also very good looking. His mother had born him after Absalom. Then he conferred with Joab, the son of Zeruah, Zeruah, and with Abiathar, the priest. And they followed and helped Adonijah. I told you, God called Adonijah. Bezadak, the priest, Beliah, the son of Jehoiada, Nathan, the prophet, Shemaiah, Rai, and the mighty men who belonged to David were not with Adonijah. And the Adonijah sacrificed sheep and oxen and fatted cattle by the stone of Zehoret, which is by En Rogel. He also invited all his brothers and the king's son and all the men of Judah, the king's servants, but he did not invite Nathan, the prophet, Benaiah, the mighty man, or Solomon, his brother. So Nathan spoke to Bathsheba. The mother of Solomon saying, Have you not heard that Adonijah, the son of Hedgin, has become king? And David, our Lord, does not know it. Does not know it. Come, please, let me now give you advice that you may save your, your own life and the life of your son Solomon. Go immediately to King David and say to him, Did you not? My Lord, O King, swear to your maid servant, saying, Assuredly, your son Solomon shall reign after me, and he shall sit on my throne. Why then has Adonijah become king? Then, while you are still talking there, 
with the king. I also will come in after you and confirm your words. So Bishabah went into the chamber to the king. Now the king was very old, and Abishai the Shulamite was serving the king. And Bishabah bowed bow and did homage to the king. Then the king said, What is your wish? Then she said to him, My lord, you swore by the Lord your God to your maid servant, saying, I shall be Solomon your son shall reign after me, and he shall sit on my throne. So now, look, Adonijah has become king, and now, my lord, the king, you do not know about it. He has sacrificed oxen and fatted cattle and sheep in abundance, and has invited all the sons of the king, king Abiata the priest, and Joab the commander of the army. But Solomon, your servant, he has not invited. And as for as for you, my lord, O king, the eye, the eyes of all Israel are on you that you should tell them who will sit on the throne of my lord the king after him. Otherwise it will happen when my lord the king rests with his fathers, that I and my son Solomon will be counted as offenders. As just then, while she was still talking with the king, Nathan the prophet also came in. So they told the king, saying, Here is Nathan the prophet. And when he came in before the king. He bowed down before the king with his face to the ground. And Nathan said, My lord, O king, have you have you said Adonijah shall reign after me, and he shall sit on my throne? For he has gone down today, and he has sacrificed oxen and fatted cattle and sheep in abundance, and, and has invited all the king's son and the commander of the army, commanders of the army, and Abiata the priest. And look, they are eating and drinking before him, and they said, Long live King Adonijah. But he has not invited me, me, your servant, nor Zadok the priest, nor Benaiah the son of Jehoiada, nor your servant Solomon. Has this thing been done by my lord the king? And you have not told your servant. Who should sit on the throne of my lord the king after him? Then King David answered and said, Call Bathsheba to me. So she came into the king's presence and stood before the king. And the king took an oath and said, As the Lord lives, who has redeemed my life from every distress, just as I swore in I swore to you by the Lord, Lord God of Israel, saying, I surely Solomon, your son, shall be king after me. And he shall sit on my throne in my in my place. So I certainly I will certainly do this. So I certainly will do this day. Then Bathsheba bowed with bow with her face to the earth and paid homage to the king and said, Let my Lord King David live, David live forever. And the king David said, Call to me Zadok the priest, Nathan the prophet, and Benaiah the son of Jehoiada. So they came before the king. The king also said to them, Take with you the servant, servant of your Lord, and have Solomon, my son, ride on my own mule, and make and make him okay, and take him down to Gihon. Then let Zadok the priest and the Nathan the prophet anoint him king over Israel, and blow the, the horn and say, Long live King Solomon. Then you shall come up after him, and he shall come and sit on my throne, and he shall be king in my place. For I have appointed him to be to be ruler, ruler over Israel and Judah. Benaiah the son of Jehoiada answered the king and said, Amen. May the Lord God of my Lord the king say so too. As the Lord has been with my lord the king. Even so, may he be with Solomon and make him and make his throne greater than the throne of my king, of my lord King David. So Zadok the priest, Nathan the prophet, Benaiah the son of Jehoiada, the Cherethite and the Peratite, went down and had Solomon ride on King David's mule and took him to Gihon. Then Zadok the priest took a horn of oil from the tabernacle and had anointed Solomon and they blew the, the horn 
And all the people said, Long live King Solomon. And all the people went up after him, and the people played the flutes and rejoiced with great joy. So, so that the earth, the earth seemed to split with their sound. Now Adonijah, now Adonijah and all the guests who were with him heard, heard, it, heard it as they finished eating. And when Joab heard the sound of the horn, he said, Why is the city in such a noisy uproar? Why he was still speaking, there came Jonathan, the son of Abiathar, the priest, and Adonijah said to him, Come in, for you are a prominent man, and bring and bring good good news. Then Jonathan answered and said, and said, and said to Adonijah, No, our Lord King, no, our Lord King David has made Solomon king. The king has sent with him Zadok the priest, Nathan the prophet, Benaiah the son of Jehoiada, the Cherethite, and the Peretite. And they have made him ride on the king's move. So Zedek the priest and Nathan the prophet have anointed him king at Gihon. And they have gone up from there rejoicing, re rejoicing, so that the city is in an opera. This is the noise that you have here. And Solomon sits on the throne of the kingdom. And moreover, the king's servants have gone to bless our Lord King David, saying, May God make the name of Solomon better than your name, and may he make his throne greater than your throne. Then the king bound before then the, then the king King David bound himself on the bed. Also the king said, said, also the king said, Thus, Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, who has given one to sit on my throne this day, while my eyes sees. See it. So all the guests who were with Adonijah were afraid and rose, and each one went his way. Now Adonijah was afraid of afraid of Solomon. So he arose and went and took hold of the horns of the altar. And it was told Solomon, saying, Indeed, Adonijah is afraid of King Solomon. For look, he has taken hold of the horn of the altar, saying, Let King Solomon swear swear to me today that he will not put his servant to death with the sword. Then Solomon said, If he proves himself a worthy man, not one hair of him shall fall to the end. But if wickedness is found in him, he shall die. So King Solomon sent them to bring him down from the altar, and he came and fell down before King Solomon. And Solomon said to him, Go to your house. Sorry, I have to read this. Because it's important. Sunday, Adelajah is Adonijah, as God told me. God said that you have exalted yourself, you have anointed yourself, you have gathered people to yourself, you are celebrating that you are the king of Israel, that you are the true man of God in the whole world. God said to me that he is bringing you to nothing. The same thing happened to Adonijah. Adonijah exalted himself, anointed himself choosing himself without the without the permission from the Almighty, without the without God saying so. So he he by caught the will of God and man and God brought him to nothing. So as you exalted yourself, as you exalted yourself, as you lift yourself above God, God says he's bringing you down to, to, to nothing where you belong, that he doesn't know you. He doesn't know you. You are a donator. So what you are doing, you are also brainwashing your own people. You are who send you to do what you are doing. You don't have God's spirit. I said to you, let it not be out of jealousy. Let it not be motivated out of jealousy, out of, out of, out of uh, envy. I don't need to talk much. I don't talk much about this. This is whom you are. This is who you are. God said, I should let you know. All right. I have to end now. So, God searches the heart. We can only be this. We can only see that fellow man, but not God. God searches the heart of a man. 
God knows what he is doing. He knows the heart of man. His spirit is the master of all spirit. He knows all things. We can only deceive ourselves. We can deceive God.